Okay, so welcome to part two of my Rubik's Cube videos. In my first video, I explained how to get the white edge pieces. So I explained how to get all these pieces that form a cross and put them into their correct position. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to get all the corner pieces and put them into their correct positions. Okay, and throughout this entire video, I'm going to keep this white side of the cube this is the white side since it has a white center. I'm going to keep this white side of the cube always on the top uh, throughout this entire video, uh, just to give you a reference. Okay, um, so the first thing that we need to do when getting these corner pieces is we need to get the white corner piece into the bottom layer of the cube. Okay, this is the top layer, this is the middle layer, and this is the bottom layer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get the corner piece into the bottom layer of the cube. Uh, notice how this white corner piece is already in uh, the bottom layer, um, so that that's nice that it's already uh, there for us. Um, so th since this is already in the bottom layer, let's just get uh, this corner piece into its correct position first. Okay, um, so let's look at the color of this corner piece. This one is white, orange, and green. Okay, um, since this piece is white, orange, and green, uh, we know that it needs to go into this position right here because this position has a white center, it has a orange center, and it has a green center. Um, so we know that the white, green, and orange corner piece needs to go into this corner. Okay, so we know that this piece, this white corner piece, needs to go into this corner. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this corner piece directly below the position that it needs to be. Okay, so this corner piece is directly below this corner where it needs to go. Okay, and notice how we can just bring it straight up into that corner. But by bringing it into this correct position, we lost this edge piece, which we already placed into the correct position earlier. So we want to be able to bring this into this correct position without losing this corner piece or this edge piece that we already placed earlier. Okay, so in order to do that, we want to get this corner piece out of the way just for the time being. Since it's on the right side of the cube, I'm going to bring it to the left side of the cube. Now I'm going to bring this edge piece down to the front. Now I can bring our corner piece back right. And now I can bring these two white pieces back to the white side of the cube, and they are both in their correct positions. Okay, so that is pretty much the, the only sequence of moves that you really need to know in order to get the, uh, the white corner pieces. Okay, um, so let's do that for the rest of the pieces. Uh, let's see if there's any more pieces that are on the bottom layer of the cube. Um, here we have another piece that's, in, that's already in the bottom layer, um, so that's nice. Let's just put this one into its correct position. Uh, this one is white, red, and green. Okay, since it's white, red, and green, we know that it needs to go into this position right here because this position has a white center, has a green center, and it has a red center. Okay, so this white corner piece needs to go into this position right here. Okay, so let's place it directly below the p position that it needs to go. Okay, this corner piece needs to go direct into this position, so notice that it's directly below it. And once again, we can't just bring it directly up into its correct position because we lose this edge piece right here that's already correctly positioned. So, same as before, I'm gonna, for the time being, I'm just going to get this corner piece out of the way since it's on the right side of the cube. I'm going to bring it to the left side of the cube. I'm going to bring this edge piece. down to the front. Okay, now I can bring our corner piece back to the right. And now these two white pieces we can bring to the white side of the cube and they are both in their correct positions. Notice how the colors are matching. The green's matching the green center, the white's matching the white center, and the red is matching the red center. Okay. Um, so let's do this same thing for our remaining two white corner pieces. 
Um, here, notice how we have a white corner piece, but it's not in the bottom layer. This time, it is in the top layer. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is bring it from the top layer into the bottom layer so we can so we can place it into its correct position the same way we've been doing for all the other pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate this front side so I bring it from the top layer to the bottom layer. Okay, but notice when I did that, I moved these two white p pieces out of position that, and they're already in their correct position so we don't want to we don't want to lose those pieces okay so when I bring this to the bottom layer I'm gonna get it out of the way and I'm gonna put those two pieces back into their correct positions okay um, so now I got this this piece into the bottom layer without screwing up any of the white pieces that we already put in the correct position okay so let's take a look at the color um, this one is white red and blue um, so we know that it needs to go into this position because of the white center, uh, the red center, and the blue center. Okay, so let's place it directly below that position. This corner piece is directly below the position that it needs to go. <clears throat> the same thing as before. The first thing we're going to do is get this corner piece out of the way since it's on the right side of the cube. I'm going to bring it to the left. I'm going to bring this edge piece down to the front. I'm going to bring our corner piece back to the right and now we can place these two pieces back into their correct positions on the white side of the cube. Alright, and so I think you guys are getting the idea by now. Let's just do this one more time to get our last remaining white corner piece. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, um, here's our last white corner piece. Uh, we know that it needs to go right here since there's only one remaining. So let's place it directly below uh, where it needs to go. Uh, notice this time it's switched, but we still do the same moves. Um, this time it's on the left side instead of the right side, but the, the idea is exactly the, sa the, the same. We want to bring it into its correct position without losing the two white pieces that are already correctly placed. Okay. Uh, so, since it's on the left side of the cube, okay, we're going to get it out of the way, we're going to get this corner piece out of the way and bring it to the right just for the time being. I'm going to bring my two white pieces down to the front. Okay, now I can bring my corner piece back to the left, and now I can place all three white pieces in their correct position on the white side of the cube. Okay. Um, so that's it. That's how you get all the corner pieces of the cube. Notice not that we just didn't get the whole entire white side of the cube. At this point, you should also have the top layer of the cube correctly solved as well. Okay, um, so now in my next video, I'm going to explain how to get the middle layer of the cube. We're going to solve so that all the middle layer of the cube, um, all the pieces are in their correct positions. So I hope you enjoyed this, and... Until my next video, I will see you later.